Well, welcome back to Elster's Rifles and Reloading. And I figured I'd just jump on the channel here and give you guys a quick update on the EP 2.0 annealer. Um, we made some minor changes to the case. Uh, no other changes to the EP 2.0 annealer itself, just on the case itself. Um, the drum, the shim plate, all the mill products you see on the front, along with electronics, everything's still the same. Other than the case itself, we made some minor improvements. I know at least with this old case that was made out of aluminum, we actually had to put a steel weight ballast on the inside of that to make sure that this didn't tip forward, especially with those heavier cases such as 50 BMG. And on the new case design, we actually have two total uh, legs that stick out the front here, roughly about two inches. And we have two tabs that stick in towards the front and another two tabs that stick in towards the back. And underneath those tabs are four total one inch by one inch rubber feet. And you add that little bit of additional weight from the steel going from aluminum and those four rubber feet, I'm telling you this thing really locks right down to your reloading bench, it's pretty amazing. Um, we also relocated the logo here, at least in the old logo, it was uh, engraved in the upper right hand corner here, is now relocated to the lower right hand corner. And this is actually cut out with a laser, not only on the logo itself, but uh, the rest of the holes along with the motor, the electronics, you name it, is all cut out with a laser. The shape of the sheet metal, you name it, it's quite the sight to see, and especially when it rolls down to a whole different station where all that sheet metal is bent in the shape with a machine and a computer. No human hands actually touch that case. It's quite precise. Um, we tested numerous paint systems with the new case design. Uh, we kind of started with a semi-gloss paint system, but it scratched way too easy. We ended up with this really matte black, uh, almost like a, it's got a sandy surface almost to it really on a powder coat over that steel. And it, it doesn't, I won't say it doesn't scratch at all, but it, it scratches very, uh, very, very little. Um, it's, it's a pretty amazing paint system that's quite durable. Um, other than that, nothing's changed. Price is still the same. Um, shipping's still free in the uh, 50 states here. And we do ship internationally. So uh, if you got any questions, jump on our website, www.epintegrations.com. Uh, we did upload new pictures on there and videos. And if you got any questions, don't hesitate to send us an email at epintegrations at hotmail.com. But I figured I'd just jump on here for you guys, give you a quick update, and I will see you guys in the next video. So all of our EP Tupona annealers are boxed up and ready to go. And we usually, typically, unless there's a vacation, we ship out on Tuesdays and Fridays and usually get email tracking the night before. But I cracked open one of our pre-boxed up 2.0 annealers. We are now using this special cardboard insert to help protect, especially the front of the annealer itself. Do a quick unboxing here. We have this Burnsomatic pencil tip torch head, a torch head that we recommend using. And unlike other uh, manufacturers that sell uh, flame-based annealers that don't include a pencil tip torch head, we do. Also in the box is your brass pan. So we get a nice large brass pan to catch the brass. Also is your power supply. And with this power supply, there is an LED readout on the bottom of it here to show you that it's take, it is getting power from the wall socket. We always recommend when you're done annealing to unplug this power supply from the wall socket when done. Uh, also comes with a free can koozie. So can't go wrong there. Make sure your favorite beverage is nice and cold. And this is in this plastic bag here is the actual tank holder that holds your propane tank. Now we don't supply the propane tank. Uh, that's something you can easily purchase at your local hardware store. But inside this box, we are now using this special cardboard insert to help protect the EP torn annealer. Also makes it really easy to get out of the box. And the FedEx or USPS uh, person would really have to go out of their way to damage the front of this annealer and these are boxed up ready to go.